One of the great features of Drupal is the ability to control how and what people can access on your site. You can set permissions for these users to define who can do what for the site functionality provided by Drupal Core and its contributed modules. For instance, you do not want casual visitors to edit your homepage. However, the site owner or trusted user should be able to edit the homepage or other various content. Out-of-the-box Drupal Core comes with default user roles. The anonymous user, the authenticated user, the content editor, and the admin user. The anonymous user is the role used for users that do not have a user account or that are not logged in and authenticated. The authenticated user is a role that is automatically granted to all logged in users. The content editor is the user with the permission to create, edit, manage, and publish content, and the administrative user has access to most site functionality. User roles can be given or removed from any site user. The exception is the first user created, which is user 1, sometimes called the super admin, is able to do everything on a Drupal site. Drupal access checks will always allow this account, the user 1 account, to take any action. User 1 is the only account that has permanent or non-removable access to everything based on the account itself. All other users can have permissions added or removed as their status changes over time. User 1 has access to all permissions all the time.